Uh, my name is Lucas Jenga. I'm a pastor based in Glasgow and I've been in ministry for the last 23 years as a full-time minister. I came into contact with Pastor Timothy Yip uh, when he visited my church in Glasgow and I was having a Christian conference. I believe very strongly that we are in the end times and Jesus said I'm coming back for a church that has no wrinkle or blemish. And most of the wrinkles and blemish that the church or the body of Christ experiences is based on pain, bitterness, anger, frustration, uh, hearts, and historical issues. And those are the things that the Lord wants us to get lead of our lives and have a, a, a successful, joyful Christian living. And that's exactly what I saw God has called Pastor Timothy Yip to do. Uh, because when he was teaching us in Glasgow, he brought a new dimension that I had not had taught anywhere before, where he was helping us to use the Word of God to work in our lives, to bring joy in us, to bring fulfillment and create a new desire for the Lord. And that's just spending a lot of time in the power of the Holy Spirit, uh, spending time in prayer and worshipping the Lord, but also letting go things that have been in our lives for many years. If you are hurt when you are a child or if your family or your friends or your husband or wife were not good to you, you learn to forgive them and to start living a life of loving them and caring for them. But the other dimension that I found which was amazing is that you can also be fully set free from other forces that you have no control of by engaging in the power of the Holy Spirit and connecting well. So after his amazing teaching in, uh, in, in Glasgow, I visited him in Hong Kong when I was going to attend a prayer conference. And I saw the real life, people who have been changed over the years, people who came from drug addiction, uh, people who came from other difficult backgrounds. And I just thought that this is a man of God who has been anointed for this time to teach in a different way, not the typical way we are used to a five-point sermon in a church and that's done but really coming into your heart and having a burden and a connection with you where you are so that by the time you're finished you're feeling good you are desiring to serve God more you want to be more diligent you are you're so happy with the friendship and the joy that the Lord has put in your life so while my wife and I Helen uh, my wife Helen and I were in Hong Kong we thought this would be an amazing ministry to bring to Kenya and we invited uh, Pastor Timothy Yip uh, to come and just be here and see how people would respond and I decided decided to take some time off my very busy schedule to spend time with him, see what God is going to do in Kenya and whether people will be open to these teachings. He's been here now for 10 years, uh, for 10 days. Uh, we started in Utawala Christian Center where he did a, a weekend conference. Many people are set free, many people enjoyed. Uh, church leaders were saying we want this to be taught in our house groups, we want the teachings. And of course Pastor Timothy said there's no copyright, you can use the teachings to teach everybody you want. You want. We then traveled to Nakuru, where I was born and brought up. And again, I thought maybe it was okay for the city people. How are the country and rural people going to respond to it? And I can tell you, uh, the people loved it. Uh, we even went beyond schedule because uh, he had to stay on and visit people's homes. People felt good. People felt revived. People really enjoyed it. And here we are in St. Christopher uh, Academy, uh, where he has spent a day praying for the people here. And it's just been an amazing time. I just want to thank God for the life of Pastor Timothy Yip and I believe that this ministry will go everywhere in the world and people will be able to teach it more not just as teachings but as a way of life getting us to the preparation of the coming back of the Lord getting accuracy being able to serve the Lord with freedom and joy and being able to be connected with what God wants us to, to enjoy and experience in these last days so I'm, I'm so grateful and I'm happy to be Pastor Timothy Yip's friend and I believe that uh, this work will go to the rest of Africa and go to China, uh, mainland China, uh, United States, India and other parts of the world. If he doesn't make it in person, some of us will represent him and of course you can see him on YouTube and other channels that God has opened. God bless you and thank you for being part of this wonderful ministry. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for yes. your sharing. It's yes. glory to God. I, you know, I don't deserve uh, that the work of God in my life, but God yes. blessed me. Amen. And I always want to bless other people. Amen. So wonderful to be transformed by yes. God and to be uh, touched by God, and Amen. so I can bless more people. But Amen. I give all the glory to God. It's not my own, you know, my own doing. It's yes. God's changing my life. Amen. So I give glory to God. Thank God.
Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. <laughs> the joy of the spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. I've learned to laugh. It has added a lot of joy in my life. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God. The other thing I want to share with you is the experience that Helen uh, got when we went to Hong Kong. We were spending a lot of time with Pastor Yip uh, in his ministry and then sometimes in restaurants and other places. And Helen started to say, I can see this is unique because it gives the opportunity to link up uh, the challenges that people face. So many times people are told you should be good Christian, you should be victorious Christians, but there isn't enough teachings that tells us how to confront the difficulties and the challenges and the pains when we experience them. And Pastor Timothy was able to bring a very powerful insight into her life as many of you know and as all we believe as believers that the lord wants to come back for his church the bible says he's coming back for a body a bride that has no wrinkle or blemish. I've talked a lot about this in the past in my ministry, that uh, what causes wrinkles, what causes blemish in our lives and in our ministry. What I have seen Pastor Timothy do is to unfold that and give the apostolic response saying this is that, showing us how to deal with issues that have really affected our lives. I invited Pastor Timothy Yip to Glasgow uh, uh, in summer this year and he spoke in our conference and he was with us for about 10 days had such an amazing impact on the lives of the Christians there and uh, people started to experience freedom in the Holy Spirit uh, they realized that it was so easy to be able to forgive so easy to deal with issues because they discovered the secret through these amazing teachings uh, after that uh, we saw uh, more activity more commitment more determination more dedication people are not looking at what is it in for me anymore they wanted to give their time I think particularly of one lady uh, who moved from uh, Ireland to come and serve in our church full time following this uh, freedom. We had a guy who was having cancer and he was just about to start chemotherapy and just through, through the release of the Holy Spirit uh, he was set free. So it's been an amazing teaching and so Helen and I, my wife, we, we went to Hong Kong just to experience more of this and to be part of the prayer conference that was organized by, by Pastor Gary Sheck and uh, we spent a lot of time with Pastor Timothy Yip. My wife was powerfully impacted by this ministry. He saw some dynamics of dealing with the work of God that she's never experienced before and she was saying surely this is what Christians need to know how to really deal uh, with issues when they are confronted with temptations. What are the skills? What are the resources that you need to have within you and with you on a daily basis so that you're not having to sin and repent and sin and repent. Uh, you can be able to confront sin with the power uh, through these teachings. The other thing that I find extremely amazing and a real blessing in this ministry is the power and the desire to do evangelism uh, through love, through caring for people, giving people an opportunity uh, to respond uh, to the love of Christ and doing what God has called us to do. I find this to be exceptional in the way Pastor Timo the Yip uh, teaches it, uh, unfolds the word of God and brings us to a position uh, of connectivity with the Holy Spirit. I find this to be exceptional. It's not something that I've seen anywhere else, and I believe that God is doing amazing things. Thank God. Thank God Thank, for that. Yes, yeah. God's glory, God's work. Is, Amen. You know, I, you know, I'm humble to say that that it's God who works in my life Amen. to do the perform this miracle yes. in my life. Amen.